Hey everybody, hey everybody, Jeremy Redman here, founder of Task Magic. Okay, so we're com we come to you with an amazing flow and use case from a customer, Steven. Steven, you know who you are. And I'm gonna make this very quick. So, in some news, Facebook announced a while back, let me minimize this, this. So, after I Googled it, they announced that they're gonna cut off API access for groups. That's one thing, okay? So then Meta cuts off third-party access to Facebook groups, leaving developers and customers in disarray. Well, no more. No more. Because now, thanks to Steven and Task Magic, you can... Look at this. Look at this. Look at what Steven did here. Look at what Steven did. Broke Facebook live streaming to groups and removed all apps? Automate it with task magic. Okay? So check this out. Not only are you, this is the beauty of task magic. You are not limited to APIs and what they want to give you. Oh, they want to try to shut you down? Get a proxy IP. Keep doing it. <laughs> That's the beautiful. That is the beautiful part of this. Okay? So you can automate things and you, you're not at the mercy of those companies you can do whatever you want if you can get to it on a computer you can do it if you can get to it on the web you can do it there's there's no having to ask for data you can just do it and steven here has a beautiful example of this so here's steven's example I'm, I'm gonna put steven's example on here on the uh on the end but again this is the beautiful part if again i always use the i always use the piece where it's like hey, Airtable only gives you these two options, right? They give you, you can only trigger a uh, new row added and edited row. But what if you wanna share a base with someone? You can't do that with their API. You cannot automate that with Zapier. You cannot automate that with Make. There is no webhook they give you that you can do that. But with browser automation, you can. And Steven uses this beautiful example with live streaming to groups and that's amazing, let alone all the other things you can do in groups. So check out this video. So until recently in the Facebook groups, you could use apps and Facebook, the nice people have kindly gone, no, 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 you're not allowed to use apps anymore. So guess what? I found a way around it. Yes, if you are using Zapier, Pabbly Connect or any of those, you can throw them away pretty much, or you can send a webhook over to this product. Let me show you. This is Task Magic. If you want to go and get it, you can go to dfymagicthemes.com forward slash Task Magic. Links in the description as well. Be grateful if you bought it through me because I get a little bit of commission, which helps me do these videos. So, this is the thing to do. The first thing to do is go to apps. We're going to click on apps, let it load up, and this is where I've been playing around with apps, we're going to do a new workflow, start from scratch, I'm just going to slide this out a little bit, and this, this is the first trigger inside of this workflow, so we're going to click in here, search for YouTube, there it is. You can do any trigger you want um, that is available on the app side, or you can do a workflow visually using Task Magic. But let's do it this way. So I'm going to look for a new channel video. So I'm just going to move this over for a moment because I want my YouTube channel. And what we want to grab is the username. By the way, you can grab anybody's username using this, this way of, of posting videos up if you want to do it this way. So I'm going to grab that information there and I'm going to come into here and I'm going to paste in the channel ID and I'm going to click load data to check it's working. And it's got a whole load of results. And so we're now ready to move on with the next step. So the next step in here is to set up your trigger point. So we're gonna put webhook, because I like them, and we're gonna send it to task magic. 
and the action is start automation. Now, at this point, I haven't got my automation URL yet from Task Magic. So we're just gonna save this at the moment and we're gonna come back to it in, a mo in one moment. So I'm gonna put this to one side. Reopen this up and we're gonna to need to create a workflow that's going to post this over to Facebook groups. So what we want to be doing, we, we've got a guided templates option or web. I like the web version, so I'm gonna use that. And it's gonna say, we, we're gonna to need to handle logins with cookies. So yes, I'm in. So we use this Google Chrome extension called Edit My Cookie. You can find it inside of the Chrome store and make sure you are logged in on the Facebook group you want to work with. The next thing is to click on the cookie, click on the arrow there and it's copied the cookies to your clipboard. Now we can come back to Task Magic and we can paste it in here, tick this here. So now we've got the cookie inside of here, we can now start recording. Now it's opening up another window, I'm just gonna show you this now. So we're now inside of the Facebook group that I want to use. And what I'm now gonna do is grab the full Facebook URL and copy it. And I come up here and hit the three dots, edit, and make sure I've got the correct URL in here at all times. And click save. So the first step will be when it's triggered, it's gonna to go to this page here. Now the next thing we need it to do is to click on write something. So we're gonna have a click step. And now I'm gonna click in here and make sure I've highlighted properly and it says it's okay, click confirm. So now it's going to click on it automatically when it runs and we want to write something. So in this case now, I'm going to come down to here and put type. We're gonna click in here and I'm just gonna go so I just typed in there, hello, hope everyone's having a good day. And now I'm gonna click confirm down here. And it's gonna come back. Will this be a variable step? So if I say yes right now, it'll want to change it to it. So we can, we can click on and say yes, there we go. So it says enter variable. So when we get to that point, we can enter in vari the variable steps. But next we want it to click a button. So now I'm going to click on post and get the right area, click confirm. And now this has worked, it's going to post it. And now we're done. Now I need the variable, but I'm going to say not now, because the first thing we want to do is add the trigger. So I'm going to click in trigger, we're going to do a web hook. I'm going to copy the web hook, and if you remember, I had this other window open ready to start the automation. But we need to enter in the webhook. Paste it in there. So I've added the webhook, and the next step now is to add the value. So we're gonna put in here, title, value, click into here. And so we want to now look for the title that is sending it over. So let's have a look through the list and see if we can find the title. There we are. So I've got the title in here. We're now gonna add an item and we want the description. So I found description. And now we're gonna add an item and we want URL. Click in here, click in here. And we just check the main URL to make sure I haven't missed anything. And URL link. And now we've got all the data in here. We can now do retest. Hit publish up there to leave that active. Check for new events. Coming to option one, and we've got the data here where we can save the trigger. So I say the trigger, but now we've got to move on to enabling this trigger. So where it comes down to entering the text, we're now gonna hit this and hit edit. 
and we're going to clear out hope hello hope everyone's had a good day click the at we're going to go title description url and they're all in there click save so what's going to happen now is when I upload a video to YouTube, this is going to detect it. It's going to grab the data and send it to the webhook for Task Magic, and that data then is going to get transferred into here. And in turn, this is going to trigger this option here to send the data down through the system. So when this triggers, it's going to fire up the Facebook group, it's going to click on write something, it's then going to enter in the data from the YouTube video I set up and then it's going to post it. So what can we do next? Well, we can turn the trigger on. And basically with this, you would turn it on from desktop or turn it on from the cloud. One or the other, if you have the cloud hours, which you can buy down here, lifetime cloud hours, it will run online without your computer. Now in this case, I'm going to turn it on on the desktop and I'm also going to come down to the settings of this automation and screen settings and I'm just going to say always show browser when running this is just for the first time so I can see it running all the way through okay so now let's test this out so just a quick note if for any reason this trigger doesn't run change your handles in with the app one to your ID instead, like I've done here on this channel. What I love about this is you can put almost any channel on here to run a workflow if you want to. So I've now got this all set up. I'm just gonna come back. I'm gonna to switch to the runs option here and I'm gonna select all running so I can see if that's gonna work or not. We're now gonna come back over to my YouTube channel and I'm going to upload a video and then we're going to see if this runs within the next five minutes. So let's click on the plus, upload video, select files, I'll select a review video. This one's already up, but I'm just going to pop it up anyway. But this is a test and we're just going to let it process so I can select one of these while we're waiting. We'll stick it in promotions. If you want to fill in more down here, you can. I'm just going to tick that in case they think it no AI to AI. I think, I think it's all good. So we're going to scroll back up. Wait for the thumbnail and then click next. There we go. It's loaded the thumbnail. Go next, next, next. Public, publish, and close. Now what we're going to do is open up Task Magic and also make sure I'm on my other channel as well. This is the channel, this is the last thing I went and popped up earlier on. So now we're going to switch to Task Magic. I've been doing tests, so we've got three of these in here. So in a moment or two, when it triggers in the next five minutes, this is going to run. We're going to see it run and finish, and then we go and check the channel out, Facebook channel out, and make sure this has worked. A little longer than a few minutes later. So here we go, it's running now. It took about 10 minutes to start running. I did pause the video while I was waiting. It's now gonna create the post. And there we go. Boom, away we go. Done. If we come back over to Facebook just now, it's posted the video up we put all the data in and we are done. And you can do all sorts of workflows in it. You can either do visual stuff inside of Task Magic, or you can do the workflow like I did looking out for the YouTube video. So if you're after Task Magic, I'd appreciate you if you went through my link, which is dfymagicthemes.com slash tm, it's in the description. And hopefully that's gonna be a good way to post things into Facebook groups.